I think the best way to beam on to the back beam is to use a trapeze. I found a article in the May June 2014 issue of Handwoven Magazine that describes building and using a trapeze on a baby wolf. I've used the same design to build the trapeze that I use on my Glimokra loom. And I would advise considering using a trapeze for your beaming on. If you go to the magazine on page 26, it gives you good instructions on how to build the trapeze. The first thing you need to do is support your lee sticks in the back of the loom in some way. One way to do this is to take a long piece of Texal and run it from the front of the loom to the back of the loom in a loop so that you can figure eight your lee sticks in that Texal cord and it supports it uh, and keeps it at the level of the back beam. You can see I have it wrapped around the back beam here, then it goes up to the front of the loom beside the reed and back to the back of the loom. This works well. It's just one of many ways to support your lee sticks. Another way is to hang a piece of Texal from the upper portion of the loom if you have an overhead beater and a high castle, and then hang it the Texal down and loop it around the lee stick. This is my preferred method of hanging my lee stick. The next thing is to get your trapeze and get it ready to set up on your loom. I have the two uprights, the roller and ball bungees. I secure the two uprights to the sides of the loom using ball bungees. And the rod I support and secure using ball bungees at the top. My warp is 24 inches wide. I'm going to divide it in four different sections, each being six inches and each one will have a two quart milk jug for weight. Each milk jug weighs about four pounds when it's filled with water and I have four of them so that's 16 pounds that I'm using as a tension device on my warp. The warp goes over the front beam, under the footrest, and up over the roller beam of the trapeze on a glamokra loom. Some looms don't have this uh, same mechanism you have to adjust with whatever kind of loom you're using uh, to get the best pull you can on your trapeze. I smooth my warp chains out and take a piece of Texal and I wrap it around the warp chain about three times. Bring the end of the Texal through the buttonhole closest to the other to the end and slip it through and pull it. Then I have a nice piece of Texal that I can bring down and run through the handle on the milk jug and using an arrow pin then uh, adjust it so that the milk jug is just hanging off of the floor and providing weight on my warp chain. I do this same method repeated for all four warp chains. Once the warp chains are all smooth and straightened out, it's time to go to the back of the loom and to wind on to the back beam. I keep pushing the lee sticks forward as the warp goes down to the back beam. And when the warp gets down to the back beam, then I start adding sticks to support the warp and to also cover up the Texalf cords so that there's no unevenness in the tension of my warp going on the back beam. I try and get my warp sticks as straight as possible. As you'll see in this video, there's one that gets a little bit off, but when I come around the next revolution there, I stop and straighten it out, and then I can keep on going. It's important to, to keep an eye on your milk jugs, and when they get to the top of your trapeze, then you need to lower the milk jugs and readjust. Once I've readjusted and wound my warp on the back beam, then I can see the loops. Then it's time to take the rest of the choke chains off and to cut this loop. So I grab the scissors and I'm going to just cut the loop at the end, just like that. Now I'm ready to 
take my milk jugs and lower them. The, I'm going to lower them and I'm going to let the Texol go clear up over the roller bar and down up under the foot peg as I beam on to the back beam. And this way then I can get the warp as close to the reed as possible and then I can put it, push it through the reed and have it hang by the lee sticks ready for threading. When all the warp is on the back beam, then I can pull the warp threads through the reed and I'm ready to thread my loom.